Next question is from Nathan Teal. What is something that all of you preach but struggle to practice when it comes to fitness? Oh, that's easy for me. <laughs> That People is like easy for me. I, I, yeah, I, supplements is a big one for me. I, we always talk about how supplements don't make that big of a difference. <laughs> Yet you and, take everything. <laughs> and I, look, I, I mean, I admittedly have uh, like a dysfunctional relationship with supplements. It's like, uh, like almost like a drug addiction, I guess. Um, luckily, they're not <laughs> they're not drugs, but I do love messing with supplements. I like buying. Different supplements. Get That's the supplement companies right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shut up, Sal. They're knocking on our front door. Yeah, I, I, I do like supplements. I like uh, messing with them. I like experimenting. I like combining different things, uh, seeing how they work on my body. I like to experiment on myself, um, probably to the detriment of my own health uh, and well-being. I'm fully aware of it, uh, and this, this is one of the ways I'm a better coach and trainer for other people. Um, than I am for myself. But that that's an easy one for me. I know about that one and, and I'll work on it one day. <laughs> well, overreaching for me. I mean, just to kind of piggyback oh. on that last question. Um, uh, sometimes I, I just feel so good and I just want to like recreate uh, some of those moments I had like in my career where I was um, lifting heavy weights and I was like hitting personal uh, bests and you just get in kind of the momentum and the flow of the workout where I'm like, just like, yes. And then I get after, I know better. And it literally I'll stop myself and be like, ah, I probably should back off, but I want to do it, you know? <laughs> and then I just throttle down. So it's not always consistently, um, smart. Uh, every time I, I go in there and work out, sometimes I, I do, you know, stretch that capacity quite a bit. Um, I would say, I don't know, like, Rock stars or Diet Cokes, those are probably things that I wouldn't promote for people to be doing. And it's you, never had your, you never put that in your client's diet plan? Yeah, yeah I, never, <laughs> I never wrote that into a diet plan or encouraged someone to do that, yet I still enjoy a good Diet Coke when we're eating out somewhere. And I've been on a rock star kick for the last probably year or so, um, which I got to stop because I can already feel it eating away at my teeth and I'm going to go see my dentist and I know they're going to tell me right away. So uh, that's probably one that uh, I don't encourage people doing, and I and I catch myself still doing it, even though I, I preach otherwise. Other than that, oh, you know, what? here's another one. Um, definitely, I, I I'm challenged on the staying off my phone late at night. Um, I have practices that I put in place where I put the phone away and do things like that, but it still creeps back into my life. Like I definitely find myself. Um, curious about, you know, what's going on with the business. We just launched something. And so I'm watching the numbers like crazy and I'm just so interested or we just got a cool email and I want to read it. I want to wait till tomorrow. And so, um, and sometimes I, I, I like that stuff so much. Like I love looking at the business. Like I've never had a business that has so many different analytics that, um, I find it like relaxing, even though I know it's not relaxing for my brain to do that. Like I enjoy just sitting there. And so I catch myself, doing things like that late at night when I know it disrupts my sleep. So that's probably something I can always continue to be better. And then, yeah, the, probably the drinks are probably the big ones. Other than that, I'd say I'm pretty consistent with the stuff that we talk about and we say on the show. Yeah, I would say, you know, if you're a coach or a trainer, it's really important to be honest uh, to yourself uh, about this kind of stuff because – I think trainers tend, and I, this used to be me too, I would kind of fall in this trap of like, I need to be perfect, otherwise I can't help other people. Nobody's perfect. Nobody is perfect. Um, and that, because you're not perfect doesn't mean you can't help other people. Just be honest and open. I think the, the, the challenge is when, like I would have trainers that did this, um, that worked for me, they would preach eating clean and perfect. And then they would preach it like they were, gods of eating perfect and clean and then when they would eat garbage food they would hide it uh, you know like they'd yeah. eat occasional bag of chips or you know fast food and they'd hide it oh don't let anybody see and it's like you know you put yourself in a weird position because you're, you're i'm not a real human I, yeah you're, you're making yourself uh you're, you're turning yourself into something that you're not and that's going to backfire so i think it's important to be super honest and and look I'll, I'll be the first one to tell you that i am a way better coach and trainer for other people than I am for myself. And I think it's like that for most yeah. uh, coaches and trainers. So, and that's the thing, nobody's perfect in, in the pursuit of health and fitness is not the pursuit of perfection. That is what will get you in a lot of trouble. You pursue perfection. It's not going to, not only will you never get there because it doesn't exist, but you'll probably go uh, in the opposite direction. So keep that in mind. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here, or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.